your why. Okay, let's understand it. When we think of professional improvement, we often ask how questions. How can I do that faster? How can I be more effective? How can I get more done? The problem with asking these questions is that they focus on the tactical to the exclusion of the strategic. Okay? I'm going to leave this slide on the screen for a little bit longer. I want you guys to write down the three questions, okay? Because these are questions that you should be asking with great frequency within your business, okay? How can I do that faster? How can I be more effective? How can I get more done? If you guys have read anything by Tom Hopkins, I'm a big Tom Hopkins fan. Uh, one of my favorite books of Tom's is How to Master the Art of Listing and Selling Real Estate. Uh, which is a great book, even if you're not a licensed real estate agent or broker, it's a great book on sales. Uh, but Tom wrote another book called How to Master the Art of Selling. And there's a chapter in there on efficiency. And here's what he said about efficiency. He said, if you will work every day the same way, with the same intentionality and the same discipline and the same focus that you have the day before you leave on a week-long vacation, you will get 10 times more done in the next 12 months than you will if you continue doing it the way you've been doing it. And if you ever have the opportunity to come out to our corporate office here in Coeur Idaho, guys, you're invited. Uh, I'd love to come out and hang out with you. Uh, you will see that things in this facility move very, very quickly. And if you are walking in front of me, you're going to get run over because I am moving because I got things to do and I got to get it done fast, okay? so. Do it with intentionality. How can I do it faster, more effective? Now, why do you need to know your why? Well, those who have a strong sense of why are more effective and they are more efficient in what they do because they discover your true why and they have to dive deeper than wanting a new car or paying your bills. Okay, it's gotta be bigger than that, you guys. And it can't just be all you focused. You've gotta bring in other things like tithing, like charitable giving, like service. How can I serve people through the success of my organization? Because if you are only focused on how this benefits you, you're really gonna struggle to get any traction here. So you've gotta be brutal, brutally honest with yourself and uncover these two things, okay? First one is, what is the positive why that you are chasing? Okay, if everything goes as well as you want and, and everything you are planning hits, what are the positive attributes as a result of that? Okay, but then we also have to look at the negative why. And this is the thing that you're trying to avoid. And for some of you, the thing that you're trying to avoid is having to go back and get a job or having to go back to work. Some of you had the opportunity to take the last 18 months off, paid, courtesy of the government. Yay! But now you either need to start making some money or you're gonna have to go back and get a job. And you're looking at the bank account and it's getting lower and lower and lower because all you've been doing is withdrawing and not making deposits. And you are running up against this time clock that says if, if I don't make some money by then, I'm gonna be in big trouble. And Everybody's motivated differently, okay? Some are motivated more by the positive and they're focused on the, the big picture. Others of you are more fear-based, so you are motivated because of what could happen and will happen if you don't. I would encourage you to utilize both of these attributes equally because I think they are both equally important, okay? Now, to help you uncover your why, I've created for you guys a series of questions that I, will, I hope will extract and give you some thinking points, okay? First one, what excites you on a daily basis? One of the things that I pride myself on is a lot of my team members here within the organization will tell you that this is the first job they've had that they don't dread having to go to work. They actually get excited because they get to come and work in a facility where every day, all day, we get to serve people and help people improve their lives. That's a great feeling, okay? But what excites you? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Now, some of you, you hate getting out of bed in the morning. It's drudgery, right? 
Well, that tells us that we need some change, right? You're, you're tired of the job, you're tired of the, you, you're just bored, you, you're lacking just any type of motivation, and, and you just kind of feel like you're stuck in Groundhog Day. Well, we need to find something that really excites you on a daily basis, the things that get you out of bed. For me, I can tell you, I love coming to work. I was being interviewed today, actually, and somebody said, Lee, what, what motivates you? And I said, you know what? I just love coming to work. I love coming and talking to you guys and, and sharing with you some of these things that could help your situation. I love seeing loans closing over on the Kogo side of the house. I love seeing your guys' before and after pictures. But the thing that really grinds my gears more than anything else is when we do our tuition reimbursement. You guys know that when you invest in our training, pretty much everything we offer from an educational standpoint has some type of a tuition reimbursement component to it. Where if you'll simply do the thing we're teaching you to do and utilize our funding arm as part of your solution, after you've done one deal or two deals or four deals, we will refund your entire tuition.